funniest person in the locker room? Bobby Heenan. There's no comparison, is there, surely? Last man standing at the bar. Bobby Heenan. Oh, really, Bobby Heenan? Oh, God. He lived on vodka. <laughs> was this purely after the matches, or...? It was all day long. <laughs> Good for him. Um, right, biggest bully. Jeez. You know, from my own personal experience, I um, I would have to say, and this this is sort of hearsay, but I saw it in the ring, and it might have been Billy Robinson, because he'd take advantage of a guy, you know. And uh, I remember he. I uh, had a match with Bob Orton Jr., who I considered one of the greatest, you know, top five wrestlers of my era. He was incredible. And, and, and timing, unbelievable timing. And Bill, Billy sort of guzzled him up, and I thought that was really uncalled for. Right. Okay. Uh, most picked on. Uh, this could be any locker room, not just the AWA, of course. Oh, gosh. He was the, he was the locker room whipping boy, as it were. You know, I can't really honestly answer that because I didn't see any abusive, you know, you know, uh, unless it was all in fun, you know, and that was that included everybody. But I, I didn't really see any real, you know, sadistic or any ill feelings, you know, brought on by anybody towards somebody else. No, that's good then. Um Best and worst road agents. I imagine this is WWF only. No, I'll say the worst um, was George Scott. He was a booker. And um, let's see. Road agent. Day, day, day. I'd say George Scott. I'll put him in both. <laughs> oh, how come the best then as well? Yes. Oh, the best. Oh, God. Um, Nick Bachwinkle, and let me see. Tony Greer and Jay Strongbow. Hmm. Definitely, I've heard Tony Greer quite a few times. He's a very divisive character as far as agents, but it depends on who it is. Um, the uh, wrestler who was least likely to visit the laundry. Oh my God. Uh, Buck Zumhoff. <laughs> Very good. We can't bury that guy enough, apparently. So uh, um, we... It's too bad about him. Yeah. The clumsiest wrestler you ever wrestled. Oh, God. Ox Baker. <laughs> uh, anything... Why, did he trip over with you at some point? Oh, or... God. Well, he was a mammoth guy. Honest God, he was like 6'6 six, six and about 320 pounds. And he was a funny son of a gun, but he was clumsier in hell. I mean... He me and he was he was meek and docile as hell. You know, he was like a little pussycat. And, and but he, you know, his I don't know if you remember his his style in the ring. He was just ah right, and he was real raw boned. But he was he, he was quite a character. 